A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this particular session, I'm going to be talking about a DM who thinks or who feels that his karmic is an exact replica of his own mother. Now, please understand that this is a karmic who could be either his girlfriend or he could be uh, like very close with her or she could be his wife also. This will specially apply to those masculines who were raised by a narcissist and they were, could be the enabled child or it could also be possible that there were more than one children. So the narcissist always has a favorite, please remember that and the favorite child is always given more importance, more of everything. If you look at the Kardashians also, um, this is just an example I am giving to you. That when, uh, you know, they have all these five daughters, this uh, lady Kris Jenner who is uh, running the business. Her favorite used to be Kim Kardashian because at that time she was making the most money and she was the most popular. As soon as Kylie Jenner's business took off, like even before the business took off, she wasn't that, you know, like favoritism and all that you could not see. But as soon as Kylie's uh, lip kits and other businesses started working out, and Kim got a little bit lower than that in her, you know, whatever fame and money and all that. Immediately you could see and you could hear everywhere, even the own girls, her own daughters have complained that now Kylie is the favorite. Ten years back, I was the favorite. So there is always going to be a competition even amongst the children that, you know, uh, I need to please my narcissistic mother. Some of the narcissists have, you know, like usual other issues, but most of them have a materialistic, very strong materialistic standpoint for everything. For them, money is the most important thing, okay? Money is actually very important. I'm not going to deny that. But it should not be seen like money, especially because you guys are in a spiritual ascension journey. You are doing inner work, a lot of you. And you are, some of you experiencing the twin flame ascension journey. Some of you are going through star seed journey, but you also have, you think that you also have a twin flame, so you are here. A lot of you are here because you guys are light workers, you have a mission. And still you feel like listening to all the channelings we make because you know that even you have someone in your life, you know, or you understand that this masculine and feminine energy is both into you. And once you figure it out, like once you heal it and once you clear it, then you can easily see it in other people who are suffering with it or who have an issue with it and they might not even know about it. They might not even be aware about it. Now, in this case, what is happening is that the masculine obviously had a feminine before and he did not go ahead with her because he had to please his mother. He may have fought a lot. He may have done a lot of things. They may have even dated for a while and they could have had a runner chaser and this and that and every time he went away he missed her but when he came back again there was intensity and there was drama and this and that so he was like after a point he thought that you know maybe God wants me to leave her and choose a normal life the kind of life that my mother wants for me because it will always be the mother or any other female proxies around him that will keep on imposing this decision that you got to find a girl who is going to please us. You got to find a girl who has a lot of money. You got to find a girl who's very rich so that you can live a happy life so that you don't have money problems. And, you know, money is the main thing. If you don't have money, you'll never be happy and this and that. So many a times the narcissist also win. That's the reason why many feminines feel bad, you know, and many fe uh, feminines actually do hardcore deep inner work after all these situations happen because they try it out they try to work it out they try to talk it out they try to convince they try to write or call or email or when they meet up or even in the relationship when they are in a relationship full on they are giving a lot in the relationship from sexuality to finances to you know compliments and to everything so it basically drains the feminine at that point in time, the feminines don't know. So if you're listening to it right now and you're resonating with it, it means either you have already gone through it or you are going through it. Okay. But I want you to 
think about the next step further okay because if you're going to be very attached to this type of a family or this type of a man or this type of mother in law sister in law situation then you will be extremely drained okay let's say uh the mother in law is not around she is no more let's say you know now the only person who knows about his mother or his father that would be the person the child right in this case it's the masculine maybe his mother is very busy and she lives in another country okay so he knows his mother very well and he himself would have had a lot of issues okay but when the twin flame dynamic goes on at that point in time he always blames the feminine that's all he does because he thinks that she is the problem you know despite knowing that she is not really the problem the problem is something else or someone else maybe it's my mother maybe it's me actually more than the mother he is the problem because he cannot cope up with it he doesn't have the guts he doesn't have the courage to stand for what is right and he is also full of fear so the masculine is basically a type of cowardly person over here he doesn't have the guts to stand up and let me also tell you he is also mirroring the feminine see because what happens is that the twin flame ascension journey is a long term journey it does not come to its uh, end or its you know conclusion so soon even when the relationship dynamic is better now then also you need to continue doing the inner work and that is something that you will know with time okay that is something i don't need to tell you in this channeling so the masculine is basically whatever cowardliness he is showing he is showing it because the feminine is also acting like a coward in certain departments let's say money money is the major issue with the narcissist and the masculine is dependent on his family for money for business you know and he cannot do anything on his own he cannot even get a job and work on his own because he's a pampered child he's a extremely pampered child and many a times the feminines they attract the masculine and here i'm talking about proper divine feminine i'm focused on the same energy she is attracting this type of masculine only because purely because first of all he has to show her that how privileged his life is how much love he is received so that she can she see the difference you know he is not getting neglected and still he is complaining he has got everything that you may not have the feminine may not have but he has it all so she needs to see it you know like okay if i was in his place what would i have done or despite not getting anything what all have i achieved he is getting so many good things but still he is an underachiever and he is not able to do anything without the mother father because he is very much uh, like that you know since childhood for everything he goes to them and then they are also like yeah my son my son my son my darling my baby the man could be 40 years old but the mother still con considers him to be a baby a baby with a beard and mustache and you know gray hair and all that you know or whatever you know huge size 6 feet tall maybe taller than 6 feet but the mother is still treating him like a baby and she is constantly you know like telling him that it's okay you are fine we are fine the problem is somewhere else the other people are wrong so she keeps blaming the other people because she also wants to have it all she wants the son to himself there is a jealousy in lot of women they go through this but in the narcissist that jealousy and that control is in a huge amount so they obviously control their children or they train their children to only listen to them and do what she likes you know whatever is good for her image for her business for her this and that but obviously she is also not aware because she is a narcissist and she is suffering she is definitely a wounded woman very wounded very insecure and she has learned a few techniques to make friends to survive but all those things that they do be it charity be it get togethers be it hanging out with relatives doing this doing that having a social life going for parties eating out you know going for fancy dinners and restaurants whatever they do it never comes from the space of your heart or their hearts it's always coming because they want to prove it a point to the other people that how happy and how uh, prosperous we are you know so in that scenario the feminine does not match to their puzzle to them to their life she is a different person she doesn't care so much she is not pleasing so many people so initially they will be like very curious about her they will might even show her that they like her 
but slowly and gradually they will realize that it is a difficult situation that we are in because the son is in love with the feminine for the mother in law it's a huge issue you know to handle this type of a situation because the son is crazy about this girl so it takes time and it takes patience in this type of a case to make sure that she is thrown out by him only she doesn't want to be the bad person in the picture she wants him to do that okay she is there to humiliate her she is here there to trouble her she is there to tell her how disgusting you are how unworthy you are how much you don't match up to our status how much you don't match up to our life but my son my son is okay there is nothing wrong with my son everything is wrong with you so why she is meeting these people because she also needs to you know revive and awaken that bold and brave and confident girl that she is she was before all this drama happened in her life before you know she was doing things on her own maybe she was in some other relationship but her condition was not so deprived and deplorable at that point in time how it becomes in this relationship so they are just trying to tell her that you know what you just can't do this you can't be with us because you don't do this and you are not like this she needs to become a person who needs to tell them that i am like this and i will not change for you all because i know that i have already worked a lot already changed myself a lot to be here so you want to change you change but at the same time she doesn't care about them she doesn't give a rats ass to what their negative opinion is they want to be positive they want to be optimistic they want to be nice it's okay and during the separation so many times i have said this in my channelings and even in therapy i have seen this transformation happening it takes time but it happens that the feminine has to tell all those people has to show all of those people that i can do whatever i want to do i don't need to beg to someone for attention for affection for loyalty for acknowledgement and if you don't like me it's okay so confidence is not about trying hard to be likable to become someone who's liked by everyone confidence is to be okay with the fact that everyone may not like you so if the masculine goes away he should go away because sooner or later when you get completely detached from him and you focus on your business you build your life you build your career you stop acting like a person who is absolutely obsessed and cannot work cannot function without this man or woman when you focus on yourself you build your life you make yourself who you are you learn to be happy you get into therapy you do inner work basically you want to become a better version of yourself because the previous version was not a bold and confident version and that's what the masculine was mirroring to you on a regular basis he cannot take a stand for you he is scared he is a coward he is a this he is a that he is willing to hurt you you know that he loves me you know very well that he loves me a lot in fact you have seen him you know being happy with you happy around you you've seen him you know maybe many times after runner chaser he would have left everything for you but again why does he keep going back because he first of all is not healed and you are not healed you also keep going back to that old self every time you come up during a runner chaser dynamic you become a better person you start living your life you're this awesome girl but again you come back to being dependent being needy when he comes back to you so all your inner work goes waste when he is back so this is the only way the universe can teach the feminine a big lesson and teach the feminine to work on herself because feminine is also being very stubborn she is just not getting out of her ditch so that's why karmic is sent you know and he chooses the karmic because she is bold and she is confident she may also be pretty he may be you know liking her he may be in love with her also for some time you know and sooner or later as i keep saying sooner or later when the feminine is in a much better space she is in a high vibration that's the time things will start unraveling to him and he will realize that he married a person who is exactly like his mother there is no difference in his girlfriend or in his wife or the partner he chose and he'll also be very shocked that she will get along with the mother also a lot with the mother in law she will do a lot of things for her that will please her because both of them are money minded both of them will be materialistic 
see if he cannot choose the divine feminine he is obviously going to cho- choose the opposite of divine feminine because he also wants to have peace in his life okay so there is another scenario also where he does not go for karmic relationship but he chooses the career or the job or whatever his mother and father decide for him and he spends a good amount of time in it and then he realizes that this is not like what i was expecting i'm putting in so much effort in it but i still keep missing that uh woman who i i have blocked from everywhere and i hate and i cannot stand and she was so mean to me and this and that so better i you know do bigger things in life but obviously he is doing all karmic and materialistic things to the feminines we tell you find a job get a business do what you love make your own money to the masculine also we'll say the same thing because they also make money but they don't do what they love so for a masculine for a man a big change happens a big leap happens when he starts working on things that he loves without being scared how much money will i make will i grow or not will i progress or not he could be assuming when he you know breaks free he could be assuming that even if i'm able to earn the bare minimum the basics it will be fine but after he starts working on it he realizes that he's actually doing pretty well he never thought and then he can go for the divine feminine then he can go for the girl he wants to be with without getting you know uh, stopped or troubled by his father and mother both narcissists even the you know say some people say my father is a narcissistic but my mother is not he keeps troubling me keeps torturing me she is a wonderful lady she doesn't she is she is herself suffering that cannot be true if she is allowing him you know to do whatever he wants to do the husband treat the children whatever way he wants to treat then even she needs to work on herself she also lacks confidence and she is insecure and she is in a codependent relationship she is not protecting her children she is she is not even thinking how my child would be feeling in this situation she will always choose the husband remember that she will always choose the narcissistic husband that shows that even she is a narcissist okay so anyway the more you work on yourself these problems go away some people tell me that this is the most difficult problem you know i have done so much inner work but this is one issue that i cannot fix that's because you are still not doing the right inner work and you don't know what the right inner work is you are thinking yeah last 2 years 3 years i am doing this i am doing that even my business is going fine you know i was told that uh, root chakra is important now my root chakra is fine my foundation is fine still i am not happy so when the masculine chooses a greener pasture or chooses something better his first thought is to find someone who would fit into his family who would fit in because he's also tired of the runner chaser dynamic and he's you know gone through a lot he feels that you know she cannot understand me and i made commitments but it cannot work out anymore because there's so much negativity he starts blaming the feminine and in certain areas the feminine is to be blamed in certain areas he is to be blamed but both of them are actually acting in this way because they were trained and they were programmed to be like that okay whatever life they have right now or they had at that point in time they don't have control over it until and unless you don't surrender to god until and unless you don't do proper inner work you don't do therapy for yourself till that time these problems these negative energies these negative whatever negative situation other people's influence everything will work even the feminine when she attracts an enabled masculine enabled narcissistic uh, masculine she is attracting someone who was given too much attention too much love when she was actually neglected in some areas or he would be having certain qualities which are a exact match in terms of triggering to what she was taught in some cases it also happens that as long as the feminine is doing whatever her narcissistic adults are telling her she is fine as long as she is pleasing them when she stops pleasing them she says no i don't want to do this i don't want to do that that's when she becomes bad and they discard her you know and they punish her and things like that the karmic has to be a replica of the mother because only then he would be able to realize because as long as you know somebody is your mother you have a connection with them you have a heart with them most children you know we 
even though the mother is narcissistic or father is narcissistic children still love them and they do whatever they can and that's why they suffer so much but now he doesn't want to suffer he, in fact he did not want to suffer so he thought that maybe my mother is right because she whatever she told me about the feminine has come out to be true the feminine is difficult the feminine is this the feminine is that is that he keeps thinking all of that and he cannot obviously fulfill the demands of the feminines or the conditions that she gives at least the basic like man up and be courageous but whatever she's telling to him first she needs to work work on that if she's telling him man up she needs to woman up too you know if she's telling him be like this she also needs to look within and say say you know like why am i not being like this you know why am i expecting from him such a big thing when i am not doing it so if you are listening to this and this resonates then you have to understand that the karmic connection falls completely when he also realizes or she first realizes that she can do it on her own she can be happy on her own she can live her life she can fulfill her goals and she can fulfill her mission she doesn't need him or anyone else for that and then he realizes because again he is simply mirroring her that you know i don't need this karmic or i don't need this marriage or i don't need this relationship to fulfill my life or to be acceptable otherwise i was getting boycotted by my own mother by my own family my money was being cut out or whatever they were giving to me they stopped giving it to me my life became so hard and he wants a easy life now there are few scenarios that can play out as i said one could be the job one could be the location maybe he wants to be live you know live in a very nice place in some vacation sort of a place he wants to be in the mountains or he wants to be by the beach and he thinks that this is the perfect life if i live over here i can stay away from this and i can stay away from that and i can enjoy myself and things like that but his problems will only increase by the day his problems will increase by the day because he's stuck with the same person with the same energy the energy that he's trying to run away from or the energy he feels that he needs to please or he needs to be a good child to now he has to do the same hard work double the hard work for the wife also and initially when she has to trap him then she will be very nice to him she will take care of him she will agree to everything and she will act like all the things she will go and stalk maybe the feminine also she will see okay this is how his ex girlfriend was or ex relationship was like this so this and that and he they both will play this game with each other because they both want someone you know they are both in codependent energy she wants him for certain reasons and he wants her so they will not stop themselves from doing the worst things they will not stop themselves from breaking the code you know they can betray they can cheat they can lie it could be very much possible that the karmic also was in some other relationship before meeting him and she must have also thought so karmic also needs to learn a lesson in some cases the karmics go back to somebody they had before you know before all this happened drama and they were also not sure in some cases the karmics also realize that you know whatever i am doing is not good for me for my health for my family some realize some don't okay but usually they are the ones who give him a great lesson mostly both of them are supposed to learn lessons all of them in fact anybody who is somehow in this twin flame dynamics all the people they learn some lesson one by one but the first person who needs to work is the one who's suffering the most is the one who's treated badly or worsely so that the other person can realize so when he feels that he's literally dating his own mother now he feels that earlier he had an obligation because it's his mother he needs to be a good son or whatever attachment issue is there or he needs to get property from her or money from her or resources from her or lifestyle whatever so he has to listen to her then he thinks that you know if i marry this karmic all of the things will be done by karmic because this is the offer that she makes or she comes as a good package you know so now he has to take care of that one and this one at the same time and it is the same energy so he feels very disgusted he feels very sick because he he can see all of those qualities and he keeps thinking about the feminine he will try a lot to forget the feminine because every time he will think about the feminine he will think that what what's wrong with me why am i thinking about her i am already in a happy relationship i am already doing this i am doing that 
Now, when you listen to this type of channeling, my friends, this does not mean that you again come back in the waiting energies just because I am telling you this. You please keep doing your inner work. What the masculine goes through, what the karmic goes through, what the feminine goes through, that's the part of this session. But that does not mean that you stop doing your inner work because you're getting overexcited just by listening that the masculine is missing me or the masculine is in love with me and things like that. Maybe you are listening to this because you have done a considerable amount of inner work or you have reached to that type of energy where you are getting this. But at the same time, listen to all the other things also. Listen to me when I say do inner work or do therapy or heal yourself. Most people, they like to ignore the actual part of it, but then stick to the prediction part of it, which is not a good thing to do. Predictions cannot come true until you also put your effort. For example... You go to an astrologer, okay, and the astrologer tells you that after one year, your lucky phase will start, okay. They look at the cards or they look at everything. Even when I do tarot card reading, people ask me, what, what is the outcome of this? What should happen? What should I do? So I tell them, okay, you do this, you do that. And then they'll, this result will come because this is how the question is, how should I get into union, okay? And the answer is that you got to do one, two, three, four, five, these things, okay, fine. Only if you do it, then only you'll get into union. The question is, if I do all these things, when will I get into union? If you do all these things, then this is the time frame you would need to get into union. Okay, fine. But what you do is, say the astrologer says, after one year, your lucky time will come and you will make a good amount of money in this and that. What he's trying to say is that if you make the effort, if you continue to work, if you do this, if you do that, then after one year, you know, this will happen. Say one year you don't do any work, you're just sitting at home, you're just watching TV, you're just eating junk food because the astrologer has told you that after one year you'll get a lot of money, you'll be very rich. Cut to one year comes, no money, no richness, nothing, you're still poor and you go and blame the astrologer or blame somebody, you know. Don't even get into these type of predictions. I'm just giving this to you as an example. That people are expecting a miracle to happen or they are expecting a change to happen but they are not doing the things that are required for that change to actually happen. If you want your plant to you know bloom, give flowers and you stop giving it water, how long will the plant last? How many days will it last? Same, is th same thing is with the inner work and same thing is with the twin flame ascension journey. If you are not going to do the right inner work then the things that you are wishing for Okay, let's, exam let's assume, let's take another example that the masculine becomes a false twin. He's not going to come back, you know that, okay, it's over. And even you're not interested now, you've waited for 5-6 years, he didn't come back and now you're like over with it and you tell God that God, I have wait wasted a lot of my time, I don't want him. And in this time, I have realized that he was not the one for me, okay. So even to attract a new relationship, a walk-in, even to attract a soulmate, even to attract a healthy relationship, you need to do inner work again because you'll again attract somebody and again the same things will happen, which you obviously would not want, right? So for your personal situation, you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com after you go through the description box and you're 100% sure that you want to get into a therapy or you want to get into a personal session, okay? Kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me. Because when we get into therapy, therapy is very extensive. Lots of assignments are there, questions are there. You have to fill up forms. So we get to know that, okay, these are the areas and we have different sessions also. However, in personal uh, reading, you know, it has to be specific. Either you're going to ask three questions based on your twin flame journey, the intuitive and the tarot, or we'll do a twin flame astrology session which is more about what's your energy like what's your mission are you masculine energy are you feminine energy and you know what type of uh, life purpose you have so many other interesting things what's your human design you know why are you going through these things because of this and what's going to suit you all of these things will pop up in that particular session okay so keep doing your inner work guys and girls keep using the content of this channel to your best if you are not able to afford a personal session or a therapy. Otherwise, make sure you work on yourself and you invest in the right places that is you. Okay. So one love and peace out. And thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you soon in another one. Jai Sri Ram.